What's up everyone, in this video I'll show you how to do this written, te written, this written text animation in Adobe After Effects. So here we are in After Effects and I'm going to open a new composition. And I'm just going to leave these settings as they are, so Comp 1, you can name yours whatever you want. 1920 by 1080 and a dark background colour. And let's just set this to fit, yours might already be. Okay, so first we need to add the text, so we'll grab the type tool. And the font I'm using for this is called Mine, Mine whatever it's called. You can find this in Adobe fonts, but it's a nice sort of messy handwritten font. And you can go ahead and set your font size and stuff here as well. And when you're done, click into the composition and type out your text. And you'll see that that puts a text layer into the layers panel. And I'm just going to switch back to the selection tool so that I don't start adding more text layers by mistake. Okay, now we need to trace over the text with the pen tool. Now if like me you proper crap with the pen tool, then there's an awesome little game called the Bezier game which is designed to help you get less crap at the pen tool. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So we'll make sure our text layer isn't selected by clicking away from it in the layers panel. Then we'll grab the pen tool. We'll set the fill to none. And the stroke to whatever colour you like, this really doesn't matter. I'm just going with this tealy sort of colour because it's easy to see with the dark background. Now the stroke width is quite important because we want it to cover the text but not by too much because this can cause some leaking into different parts of the text when we come to animate it in a bit. So I know from doing a few trials that I can just about cover this font with a stroke width of 4 pixels. So I've bumped it up to 7 pixels just to make sure it fully covers the text. Obviously if you're using a weightier font like Fat Frank, yep that is the name of a font, then this number's going to be higher, but you'll have to experiment with the font that you're using. And now we just trace over the text. Again, making sure that the path we're drawing has gone onto a new shape layer. And that we're completely covering the text. And that we've got some smooth jazz playing in the background to avoid any quiet bits in the video. Okay, now we're at the end of this first letter and it's obviously not joined to the rest of them. So we need to get down to where we're going to carry on the animation. So the way this works is magic, but basically anything outside of the confines of the font won't be seen when we finish animating it. So I'm just going to click down here without cutting into any of the other letters. And then we'll carry on chasing over the text. Now I'm not going to put you through the pain of watching me do this, so I'll initiate warp speed. And just like that I'm done. So now we can start animating this, so we'll expand our shape layer. And next to contents we'll click add, and we want to add trim paths. Again we'll expand the trim paths option. And it's this end value we want to set keyframes for, so if I drag this around you can see it's animating along our path. So we'll drag this down to 0%, and over in the timeline I'm going to give it about a second before it starts. So we'll drag the playhead to a second, and add the first keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon next to the end value. Then we'll drag the playhead to where we want it to finish, around 3.5 to 4 seconds should do for a word this size. And we'll bump the end percentage up to 100%. Now when we play it back you'll see the path being animated. Now if you find it's animating too fast or too slow, you can drag these keyframes around to adjust the timing. Okay, all that's left to do now is mask the path with the text so that we don't see all of these extra bits and pieces. And it's easy as two clicks, and then one extra click. So we'll come over to the Layers panel and select the text layer. Then under Track Map we'll select Alpha Mat and the name of the layer above, which in our case is Shape Layer 1. Now when we play it back you should see the text just being animated. And if you don't, you're going to have to watch this whole video again, making sure you leave a like and a sub to the channel because that will make it work. So thanks for watching. If you're looking for more After Effects tutorials, then check out this playlist and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.